Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabori here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Spy. It's the latest action and comedy about a female CIA analyst who wants up at signing as a female spy to go on a secret mission. It stars Marissa McCarthy, Jason Statham, Rose Byrne, Jude Law, Miranda Hart, Bobby Cannavale, Allison Jenny, Peter Safrino with Richard Brake, Miranda Bacarin, and Yor Gotherson. It's written, produced, and directed by Paul Feig. The movie begins set inside the CIA office in Washington, D.C. A dustbound CIA analyst, Susan Cooper, who's played by Marissa McCarthy, had assigned her partner, the secret agent Bradley Fine, who's played by Jude Law, on a mission to Bulgaria, where he accidentally kills Tamu Boyanov without finding a suitcase nuke, which is located only to Boyanov, which he might have been hidden somewhere. But the agency had learned that Boyanov's daughter, Reina, who's played by Rose Byrne, might know the exact location of where her father's device is. So they sent Fine to refrigerate her home until he was shot dead by Reina while Susan already saw this online. Reina knows the identities of all the agency's top agents including Rick Ford, a tough secret agent who's played by Jason Statham. While Susan already have been unknown to Reina's particular plans, she volunteers to become a field agent and her boss Elaine Crocker who's played by Allison Jenny who didn't uh, want to assign her at first. Yeah, especially since you know she had an irritation on her eye, you know, a pink eye, had finally agreed, which only leads Ford to be very furious about it. That, in disgust, that that they were going to choose Susan over him for the assignment. So with Susan already being ready for it, the the particular mission, yeah, you know, she's actually given all the gadgets that she needs, all the disguises and a new identity as well with her best friend Nancy who's played by Miranda Hart to actually give him all the constructions and everything that she needs so she'll be the communicator for this particular assignment so then Susan was sent to Paris to spy on Sergio De Luca who's played by Bobby Cannaville and all of a sudden Rick Ford had appeared inside a hotel room yeah, in which uh, that's when he starts to, to get all furious and mad at Susan. So because he figures that, you know, Susan's going to take over the whole entire assignment with um, Ford not getting all the credit he deserves. So this is where he says, you're going to ruin this mission. And she says, no, you are. No, you. No, you. You infinity. God, can this place be so murdery? <laughs> yeah, she even used the word murdery. <laughs> okay. So then the next day, she spotted an assassin working for DeLuca. One of his contacts turned out to be who actually wants up exchanging Ford's bag for a bomb. So Susan actually chases Ford around, which turned out to be inside a concert. Yeah. Or some French band or what's of some sort. Yeah, that's when she was trying to pick up all the mics. Yeah, one of them had the auto tune. She tries to warn the Ford that 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 bag inside turned out to be a bomb. And yeah, once he checked on it, it was only seven seconds left until Ford actually dumps it all the way into the ocean and explodes. <laughs> so then Susan finally chases the assassin. And beats the shit out of him until he finally fallen into his death. With Susan actually vomits all over him. <laughs> so now Susan's finally on his next mission to Rome. Where she meets her contact Aldo. Who's played by Peter Serino Wit. A Sawab Italian informant who makes appropriate advantage towards her. Yeah. By actually driving all the way around town. You know, actually stealing the peaches and all that. <laughs> All of a sudden, you know, Susan already being dressed up, she spotted Reina inside a casino, and after s successfully prevented Reina's assassination, which includes the 
which uh, one of the agents actually dumps in some some roofies inside her drink until yeah he gets killed. She becomes part of Reina's inner circle, where they wind up inside a private jet plane, and which is all magnetic. And all of a sudden, a steward kills the bodyguard and pilots and tries to kill Reina. But Susan was in, was able to subdue him and takes control of the plane before landing in Budapest. Which then Reina finds out that she might as well be a CIA spy. So she, she's trying to find out her true identity right there. But Susan convinced that her father secretly hires her to become Reina's bodyguard. So then, all of a sudden, you know, Crocker had sent Nancy to to back up Susan after being shot in the street, you know, with um, Raina's bodyguard already getting killed. Yeah, you know, Susan orders Nancy to get Raina back to safety while Susan winds up uh, chasing the shooter's vehicle by riding on a piece of delivery man scooter all over around until he found a who these two people were and I know they killed them already <laughs> so later that night Susan and Nancy accompanied Reyna to a party which the contact turns out to be the Lucas associate Leah which Nancy created a diversion so Susan can fight Leah yeah and it turned out to be a concert that has a, a surprise cameo which I'm not going to reveal which I thought it was totally unnecessary to actually throw that in but you get the idea so I'm not talking about that Anyway, Leah, who turns out to be a skilled assassin, winds up being killed, as it turned out to be. And I've got to give this away, but that's okay. It turns out that Fine was actually faked his death, and he's now alive, so he can become Raina's lover. So he captures Susan in Alto, inside a, a facility, where they're about to escape, but his two agents already guarding and actually beats the shit out of him until she wants a hot wiring a, a nice black car just to go after these bad guys which includes a terrorist named Sosa de Rube, who's played by Richard Brake and his man had arrived to purchase a device for a suitcase full of diamonds so Reyna then reveals the location of the device which is inside the car and Dubu safely smuggles into the United States, you know, already trying to kill all the guys around, while Susan was trying to go after him into the helicopter while Ford was about to chase her around, you know, going on top just to stop him. <laughs> I know he wants to fall inside the, the ocean you know, with his guns, and then Susan was just going up on top of the helicopter just to beat the shit out of the room and kill him which Nancy somehow helped out yeah, and then he was dumped all the way into the ocean which also the suitcase device and the diamonds that fell into the ocean as well well so when they finally uh, set it on landing gear in, into the the particular uh, spot they actually had hired all the other agents and everybody to to pick out the suitcase device and the diamonds and arrest all all the bad guys including uh, Reyna and the whole mission had become complete so now Susan's being now assigned to become the next top agent and and of course um, you know Aldo actually reveals his true identity <laughs> but then and he actually invites her to dinner so they can cross paths in London until suddenly the next morning Susan's being shown only to find out that Ford was was actually sleeping with her. You know, all these champagne bottles were around, and <laughs> and then the movie ends. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was hilarious, uh, very funny, and definitely uh, the best film I've ever seen so far this year uh, for a comedy. And you know, I mean, Marissa McCarthy's been going through a lot of crap um, during her last two films that she did. Well, she was already working with Paul Feig in films like Bridesmaids and The Heat you know, with Sandra Bullock. And those were fun movies that I really love. But it's just sad that she had to wind up in stinkers like Identity Thief and Tammy. Yeah, I hated those films. But this one 
works. I thought she was going to play exactly what I was expecting it to be. And I thought that was interesting that they got the idea, and it was cool. Because yeah, at least she got to do all these uh, crazy moves that I never thought an actress like her, because considering how overrated she is, to actually do all of that. And I thought that was cool, because at least this was a different side of Marissa McCarthy that we ever saw. You know, unlike those two films that I saw you know, last year and the year before that. And, you know, it was also cool that she even got to play um, Sandra Bullock's sidekick in The Heat because I thought it worked. I mean, it's, I, I was expecting she'd be as annoying as she could be, but, well, I mean, yes, she does have some of that tick that she put in, but nevertheless, I thought, I thought she was funny in that film, too. It was great. I mean, I, I do have respect for Mercy McCarthy. Um, and I thought Jason Statham, I mean, this is kind of interesting considering that he actually do a lot of action films like uh, The Transporter and and all of that. that he, he wants up in a comedy like Spy. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I mean, I like how he's coming up with all these uh, funny dialogue that I just mentioned. Yeah, because he's, he's so furious. He, he just wants to do the job. Uh, I mean, I don't blame him because he really wanted to do it. It's like he doesn't even trust Susan for what he does. <laughs> and I know Elaine didn't want to hire her at first, but yeah, unfortunately she had to join in anyway. Yeah. Uh, Jude Law, great job playing a, um, a secret agent. I didn't expect it for him to do so, but it was perfect. I mean, he was definitely like the James Bond type that I ever saw. <laughs> Yeah, and he got to be in the film for a while, even though he was only, like, in the first half of the film, and then later the third act, so, because we found out, that's why I had to give it away, because that's how it was all set up and planned. Yeah, Rose Byrne did a good job playing Reina, uh, nothing what I expect from her, because I know she usually plays, you know, different roles, but this one, she did a great job. You know, playing the daughter of, of the villain that was about to set off the suitcase nuke. And, yeah, it, it was great. It, it had a lot of great action scenes. Uh, I love all the shots that they put into it. I thought it was interesting because, considering how tough uh, Mercer McCarthy's character really was. Yeah, Susan. And I love all the disguises that she was doing. And <laughs> I was liking when she was just using her gun and trying to shoot all these bad guys and uh, not to mention breaking their their, bo their bones and their bodies and I never thought I would see all of that <laughs> and for one overweight woman but one funny scene of course was when inside the CIA office you know a lot of bats were flying around everywhere <laughs> and there's even mice around crawling on under their shirts and into the computers yeah wow it's, it's like a jungle in there and even Susan's best friend, you know, who happens to work for her, Nancy, who's played by Marissa Hart. Um, yeah, I, I like all the, the attention that she was going for. I mean, it's funny because I never thought they would use her as a an actual sidekick for it to, <laughs> to not only help out Raina, but she wants up going into a concert to, to meet that, which I'm not going to mention that person, but still. <laughs> it's like she's very excited over it. And, and she got into this too because I know she had to take over for the job so Susan becomes as we speak yeah which Nancy gives all the commands to her to do all this mostly gadgets that she had to put in disguise and yeah, they had to use that uh, eye viewer that they put on her eyes so you get to see everything that's right through the camera yeah, right through that vision so then you can see it online really perfect but I know, it's like they just had to use all these tools to make it up for it. <laughs> I mean, it, it was fun. I, I, it was just, I was laughing. It, it's hilarious. It's silly. It's, it's great. I'm, I'm glad Paul Feig actually made a film like this. It's something I never expected from him, but I'm glad he did it. You know, I, I do respect him. He's, he's a great guy. I finally met him, too, uh, back in 
in uh, October and December. And yeah, he was really nice. I can't wait to, to see his new movie that he's going to produce, which is the Peanuts movie. I'm excited for that. But I'm also having mixed feelings about the new Ghostbusters reboot that's coming out um, sometime. I, I think it's yeah, which is going to be coming pretty soon. I'll give it some second thought. Maybe it might not turn out so bad after all. I don't know, but we'll see. Because I did actually saw some pictures of of the female cast that, that he has, and I even saw the new uh, Ghostbusters Ecto One that they had. And that looks uh, like it came from the 70s, even though it's an 80s car, but it had a different look. I mean, compared to the original look, I, I, having the original look look a whole lot better. But I guess I'll just give this uh, a try. So, but with that aside, it's a great film. Good comedy. I, I would definitely recommend it. Um, especially if you love uh, the heat and bridesmaids and all of that. <laughs> so anyway, I give Spy five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.